Hello and welcome back to Victoria's Educational Services, where I break down difficult concepts into easy steps. Today, we are going to use tape diagrams to divide. Our objective is to interpret division word problems as either number of groups unknown or group size unknown. By the end of this video, you will be able to divide using a tape diagram. This lesson covers standard 4.nbt.b.6. Before we begin, here's the answer to my previous video's question. Please comment whether you were able to solve it on your own or if you need more help. I'll post another challenge question at the end of this video. Okay, let's get started. Our problem is Dr. Ann has 1,467 milliliters of medicine Z. She pours equal amounts of the medicine into three containers. How many milliliters of medicine are in each container? So we are going to draw a tape diagram to solve this problem. It just looks like a plain rectangle. Our first step is to draw a tape diagram with the hole labeled 1467 because that's the number that we're dividing. So here's our hole and we'll label it 1467. Since we're trying to figure out how many milliliters are in each container, we need to find the size of the group. We already know how many groups there are, three, because the medicine was poured into three containers. So I'm going to divide my tape diagram into three parts. Okay, so I have one, two, three. Now let's label the unknown with a Z for medicine Z. So I just drew a Z in my first box. Next, we need to use our standard algorithm to solve for how much medicine will be in each container. So I'm writing 1,467 divided by three. Our answer is that each container will have 489 milliliters of medicine. I'm leaving you with a challenge to solve this one independently. I'll show the answer in the beginning of my next video. Comment your answer or any questions that you might have about this lesson. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe so that I can continue to provide free educational videos. Comment with any questions or suggestions for tutorials that you would like to see next. Until next time, bye!